Okay, here's a great little feature in Windows 10 that hasn't been talked about yet. You notice that we have uh, our applications here that can run, uh, and we just simply click on them to bring them up into our desktop. You know, the, under the new uh, Windows 10, even Windows 8 applications run that way. So if we simply click on any one of these, for example, if we click on News here, it comes up in its own little window and runs on the desktop. Uh, you can make it full screen, of course. Uh, you can also run the... Uh, another uh, regular Windows desktop application concurrently with a Windows 8 app or what it used to be called a Metro app. But what's other known is this down here is called the uh, Add a Desktop feature and you see that it shows what desktop, what things are running on the current desktop. Uh, you can uh, click on them to go to the But you down here you see this Add a Desktop. You simply click there and it creates a new blank desktop separate from the one over here that is running these applications. So if I go back over here and then go to this desktop. Now I can run things here. Now if you look here, if I if I go to this new desktop and I click on, for example, this PC, and I have this uh, view here, and I click down here, now you see I have the view of the multiple desktops. I can switch in between them simply by clicking on one and I to return to that desktop. If I go back over here, click on the other one, I go to that desktop that has those programs running. Now I can do this as many times as I want. I can create as many desktops as I think necessary to run multiple programs. But you can have multiple programs running within each one of these desktops. So let me bring up uh, Finance within this desktop. And then I'll sit there and uh, resize it. And now we have the one over here with two running over here. With the three or actually with my capture program. But there's we have that one running there. And so we can switch back and forth between those. So what do we want to go from here? We want to go even further. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, the uh, we'll go over here and we'll we can run uh, food and drink, for example, in this application. And then we'll go here and we'll take a look. Now we have three of them running. So we had can switch between all these. We could have three or two in one. Let's say you had two you wanted to keep in full screen. You didn't have to switch between them on the desktop. You can switch between the desktops. Now, what happens when uh, we're doing all that, and let's say we want to close a desktop, what happens to this application that's running if we don't close it out? Well, let's find out. We click on that, and it jumps and moves it over to your other one of your other desktops so that you don't lose the work that you're working on. And you could do that as well. You could end up with quite a few in one of those. But it's a really nice feature for that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a couple other ones here just to give you an idea of what's going on. I can click as many times as I want, create many virtual desktops, uh, that I want and I can run as many different applications in any different desktop uh, and, and have them running now when doing that I can also do another thing that's really cool and that is I can alt tab now if I hit alt tab what happens when I hit alt tab okay I simply click on the old alt tab function and sure enough there's every single program running in every single desktop that I have running and all I have to do is select one of them and of course, I'll jump to that particular one, the one here that had those uh, programs running. And I'm now in that desktop running that. So there's the multiple desktop feature in uh, Windows uh, 10. Uh, pretty cool new feature. I uh, like it a lot. And stay tuned for some more uh, Windows 10 videos. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, feature video. And thanks for watching.